Hi, welcome to episode 4 of our removal series. In today's picture, we got a whole bunch of objects and people to remove. So, without further ado, let's get on it. Alright, in this video, it's a little more complicated than the other ones, but we're removing objects and people out of this one. We'll be using the spot healing brush, and I think a little bit of clone stamping, maybe the healing brush tool. But in the end, we'll get rid of everybody, and it's just the two little kids on the beach. Alrighty, let's get started. So first, I'm going to make a new layer and call it left. You can see there's a box, so let's zoom in here. Let's grab our spot healing brush tool and just kind of dab, and it's gone. That's the left one gone. Now, the center one's going to be a little more interesting, and I have a different methods I use sometimes. So let's create a new layer. I'll call this one center. First, use spot healing brush, and we'll just get rid of this guy here. For the little boy's head, let's uh, grab our clone stamp tool. Flow at about 5%. Rotate the canvas so we can do our strokes kind of properly here. And let's make our brush smaller. Grab our selection. And let's just take that out of there. Wonder bar. Our scape. As for the lady, what I'd like to do is first use our clone stamp tool. Brush a little bit bigger. First, let's make our flow about 25%. Grab our selection from over here, and we'll do the old cut the lady in half trick. The reason I'm doing this, getting a little bit of ocean in here, is for the rest of it, we can simply color with our spot healing brush tool. Go around her. Now, any mess at the end, we shall clean up at the very end. Gone. A little dab there. We'll do that for the rest of her. Go back here. And she's gone. Let's dab a couple of times. So we'll do a bit of a repair. Reduce our brush and get rid of that section here. All right, let's take a little break here. Just like to remind everybody to uh, like, subscribe, ring my bell, so you'll get all the notifications on further videos. Let's get back at it. Now let's go over here. New layer, right, and sport healing brush tool. Make it a little bit larger than the dot. Dab. It's gone. Now let's get rid of these guys here. Dab, dab. And they're pretty much gone. What I'd like to do, grab our clone stamp tool, make our selection like way over here, line it up, and let's get rid of whatever this is with some ocean and stuff. Way over here, line it up if you can. And let's get rid of half of this guy. Make sure that he's kind of in half. A little bit of ocean here. Now, spot healing brush tool. And let's just color him in here. And we've got a couple of things that are lining up too well, but that's okay. We shall clean it up later. Let's grab their legs. Shadow. Whatever this is. What we can do, as you can see in the middle here, where the lady was, let's go back to center and grab our clone stamp tool. Make it a little bit larger. Make our flow about 5%. Make a selection about here. And let's just... Clean it up. Let's go on our right layer and grab a section from over here and just, just kind of make the sky a little bluer comparatively to what it was. Kind of clean, clean up our mess a bit. Now, as far as the water goes, same thing. Let's make our clothes, the brush a little bit smaller. Let's grab some water from over here. Let's just kind of clean it up a bit. Depends how crazy you want to go with this. But keep making your selections and let's clean it up. Grab the edge of the water there if you wish. And there. Now, if you want to get rid of this little thing here, that's fine. You can use the same method. Well, let's go over to the right here. Spot healing brush. 
Let's get rid of this pole here. Let's go back over to the left. Get rid of this tire, whatever it is. So, let's make a new layer. Just call it extra. Let's do our quick mask. Brush. Let's zoom in here. Because all we really need to do is protect the girl's hair here. A little bit of her arm and hand. So what we can do, make sure that we're painting black on here. And let's protect all the parts that we want to protect when we're going to start using the clone stamp tool. Let's protect all her hair and such. Maybe a little bit more here. Okay, now that we've got our selection, let's put our flow back to about 25%. Let's grab a bit of sand over here. Make our selections. And let's remove that part there. Now you can also grab the same selection from over here so it doesn't look so obvious. And let's remove this bit here. Try not to remove her hair. Now this part here, let's line it up. Do a little there. And go up and a bit in the ocean. A little bit of delicate coloring in here. And in here. And that's gone. So control D to deselect. If you see any sort of anomalies, let's kind of clean them up. Always clean up your mess. However you wish to do it. And I'm going to extend this a little bit so it looks a little more natural. Let's zoom out and see what it looks like. All right, looks like that person is gone. There, all done. Well, I'd like to thank everybody for sticking around to the end of the video. That pick turned out great. Please stay tuned for more videos on our removal series. Thanks.